Okay, this is a video tutorial on how to save a movie file from Windows Movie Maker to be able to put it onto YouTube. Now you open Windows Mo Movie Maker and right here is my finished project. It's just an audio file with a title over it. Nothing too special. And you come up here to File you go to, instead of save project or save project as, you go to save movie file. You want to save it to my computer and then you come down here and click next. Now up here you can name your movie. I'm going to name it Lock Lomond because that's the audio file that it's under. Now, right here, this drop-down menu, you can save your, uh, this is where you can save it wherever you want. I'm just going to save my new videos, but if you want to save it somewhere else, come over here and hit Browse, and then you're given this entire menu, and you can put it pretty much anywhere on your computer. And so mine is being saved in videos, and I come down here, and I hit Next again. Now, right here, this menu, this gives you the options of your movie settings. What you want is to come to other settings, come to this drop down menu, make sure you pick high quality video large. And then if you look down here where it says settings details, you can see that your file type is Windows Media Video, or WMV, which is what it needs to be. You come over here and hit next. Now, you'll see this screen after you've done that. This is just uh, telling you how long you've got until your movie's done saving. Yours, or not yours, but all videos basically are going to take a long time. You know, 10, 15, if you have a slow computer, maybe 30 minutes, depending on your file size. Now since mine is just a uh, audio recording and it doesn't have to think about a whole lot. Mine's not going to take that long. See, it says two minutes remaining. So, uh, I'm going to let this finish saving, and then I'll finish the tutorial. Alright. <coughs> now that that is finished saving, you'll see this. And uh, there's a little box right here that you can click and it'll say play movie when I click finish. You can do that if you want to, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to. And then you come down here to finish and you just hit finish. And now you can X out of uh, Windows Movie Maker. You do not have to save the changes because you've already saved this in your uh, computer. You don't have to save these changes, it'll be worthless to you probably. Unless you're going to use that video for some other Movie Maker files later on, then you may want to save it. I doubt it, because you can just re-import it. Uh, then you come over to your video file, which is where I saved it. If you saved your somewhere else, you go to that file, and you can see uh, right here is the video that I just saved. I'm going to X out, and I'm going to go to YouTube, and you want to go to Upload. Now, some of you probably already know how to do this. If not, it doesn't matter. You can name your video right here. This is going to be Bach Lamond Uh Let's see, this is the Garrett Lathe arrangement no video so audio is better quality um this is music where is it at there it is music lock almond Garrett Lave Choir Classical, I guess. 
stick with that. Upload video is what you want to click. Once you've done all that, you come over here to browse. And now you are already in your video file. Uh, you may not be in videos, or you may not be where this video you saved it is at. If you're not, then just go there. And then right here is my video. I'm going to double click. And now it's there. Hit upload video, and the rest YouTube does for you pretty much.